Hi friends. So today's video is going to be a Goodwill Bins thrift haul. Um, I've sort of been putting off this, making this video for a couple days. Um, but here we are. Uh, so I will try to make it as quick as possible. Um, I spent a total of $61.50. Um, my Goodwill does two sessions. They do the first session in the morning, which is a dollar a piece. And so I spent $45.50. Um, I bought shoes, which I don't have them here. They're in my reseller shed. Um, and then I stayed for the second session and I got 31 pounds for $16. So this is going to be both sessions put together. Let's get into it. We'll start with the stuff that I can't sell. Um, I picked up this pair of Hollister men's Hollister jeans, skinny. I don't know what they, if they're skinny. They say skinny, but they don't look skinny but I guess they are men's and of course they've got a hole there um but there was something else wrong with them but I am not going to try and figure that out um I don't know why I grabbed this like when I go to the second session I just start throwing stuff into my cart which is a bad idea um this is Disney's Descendants um it's a shiny dress but as you can see it's got all kinds of snags um so I'm not going to be selling that this is another piece that I don't know why I put it in my cart but I did um it's just a slip a black slip but it was like way nothing um but there are little holes in it um if there were no holes I could probably sell it um <clears throat> next were these this pair of uh, Brooklyn Express. I know nothing about them, um, but they were like, they're like a moto jean, um, acid wash moto jean. And there's something wrong with these, but I don't know what it is right off the top of my head and I'm not going to sit here and try and figure it out. And then the last thing that I can't sell is this Modern Images. It's a 100% cashmere v-neck green sweater but there is a hole right here somewhere okay so now there are going to be some things that you are not going to see because they are for a summer recollab summer recollab a summer collaboration box that i am doing with kelly schaffner love her Go check out her channel, which I'm sure most of you already have, but let's get into what I am going to sell. I've already sold two things from this trip. Um, this was going to be one of the things that I was going to send to her, but I could not get the stain out, so I'm not going to. Um, oh, so this will probably be in the can't sell, but I think it's Fanuel. Um, it's just like this super crop, flowy, embroidered top with like an exposed zipper and then this is a Disney um, sweater it is a size 3x but it doesn't look like it so I don't know maybe it's vintage but it does not look like a 3x but it's got this um, it does have a stain but I think it I mean it's so so faint so I think that'll be okay um, this is a blue label Ralph Lauren long sleeve button down, um, with a little polo right there, striped. Um, there is, I think there's like yellowing under the arm, very slight, um, and like a rust stain on here. Um, so I'm going to try and sell it, but just note that, um, I'm going to insert a picture right here of one of the polo Ralph Lauren things that sold, I believe within the same day that I listed it. I'll do that um, right here. As you can, if you don't know, um, I drive a Jeep and during the summertime, I like to have the top off. Um, and so I just grabbed this so that I can drive around and not get nasty ratty hair in the summer. So this, I found a dollar in the pocket. 
Um, but this is Gunnix. This is, um, does pretty well, I think. Like, the, the comps are pretty good. It's this cute white skirt. There is a faint stain on the back. I did try and get out. I got most of it out, but it is right there. So I will just note that. But it's cute. It's got this front pleated thing detail with a single pocket. Um, I just liked the, the pattern, the design on this one, um, but the front is kind of pilled. It's just this sunflower um, tank top that's padded. Um, this is by American Rag. This is a size extra small, so we'll see. I don't know. Um, this is just a pair of assets. It's like shapewear, size medium. Um, yeah. This is a Bisu Bisu dress, but I think that the elastic is like not elastic-y. Um, but it's just a halter dress with like a tie, a long tie, white eyelet. I'm thinking more summer stuff, except for the next item. <laughs> uh, this is another American rag piece. Um, I don't know. I think this might be men's, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, this is a size large. It is a quarter zip um, sweater. It's really like heavy duty with the stripe. This is a J. Crew factory stretch, although it doesn't stretch. Um, pencil skirt. I just liked the colors for the upcoming season. It's got a zipper in the back. Oh, that is a size four. Eight. This, um, Bobo, it's just a pink open front cardigan, long sleeve, kind of waterfall front. Um, this is just a basic Old Navy maternity maxi dress. Um, but I don't know why it has to be maternity necessarily, but it is maternity uh, tie-dyed dress. So this is a Columbia heavy duty men's um, size large jacket full zip. But then just now I noticed, and it's pretty heavy duty, but I noticed like this paint. So I might just try and like sweater shave because it's like raised. So maybe if I sweater shave it, it'll come off. Uh -oh. When I... <laughs> Sometimes, let me tell you. This is a Lulu's um, size extra small. Um, it's really pretty, it's just black, but it's got like these open sleeves, like half length mini dress, like shift dress. But when I got it home and I looked at it, there was massive armpit stain um, on both sides. So I washed it and they seem to have come out. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this is another blue label Ralph Lauren. This is a short sleeve, red and white and blue. Um, this is the Blake. It is a size large um, button down. I've never picked up this brand, so hopefully it does well, but this is just a Wrangler size something. I don't know. Um, button down or button up, I guess. Somebody had said that button downs, you actually button the collar to the shirt. So does that make this a button up? Because you don't do that? You tell me. Anyways, so that's a Wrangler. I don't know. This is We The Free size small. <laughs> um, super oversized, super like distressed. Well, not super distressed, but like raw hem thing going on. It's like this mauve color. This is Dolan. 
Um, I don't know if this one is, ex like, if this brand is exclusively through Anthropology. Anthropology. Um, but the, the RN does not say that this is from there, but it's just this baby pink popover with like three quarter length sleeves, two different material types. Oh, that is a size extra small. Um, I was trying to go for color this time um, because of summer. I think this might be vintage, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know a lot about vintage. I'm just basing it on the way the tag looks. But this is Linnea, Linnea by Luis Del Olio. Um, and this is a size extra small. Maybe this isn't. I don't know. But it's just like this midi length, I guess, tiered. I, is that tiered? I don't know. Floral skirt. I got this because I'm going to try this on eBay. This is um, cutter and buck, size medium, plaid. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Button, two shirts. So is this a button up? Um, anyway, it is a long sleeve Chapman University button uh, uh, down. So I'm going to try that on eBay. Um, this is Lucky Brand Size Large, it's red, long sleeve, with like the sleeve button detail. <laughs> this is just an Ann Taylor size 8. Ann Taylor size 8, button up. <laughs> Um, bait, like a light pink, white striped. This is NLV uh, by Marine Lee Vyrie. I think this is silk. Um, I need to steam it. Um, I don't see a size on here. So yeah. Pink. I got this because I just thought it was stinking cute. Um, but it is just by Toby. It is a size small, but it's this floral dress with like lace sides. And then it's got a zipper in the back, little mini dress. I just thought it was cute. Um, this is just a soul, soul system that I got, like the sun bathing suit top by... Zaffles. Um, this is Batman. I don't know if you can see the label. Size large, but it says same bat time, same bat channel. Tune in next week. This is a bathing suit by, I believe it's Caroline, yeah, Catalina. It is a extra large. I like the polka dot in the sheer. Um, this is a J. Crew. Kind of gives me like, is it? I don't want to say Edgar Allan Poe, but like the crow vibes or something. I don't know. Oh, that's not even a crow. That's like a bird. <laughs> a bird. Anyways, um, graphic tee. Um, this is a pair of REI hiking pants, size four. Um. They are like vented in the back. So I grabbed them. This is custom rags. Size large. It's like a black striped long sleeve with this embroidered detail right here on both sides. This is just a basic Old Navy, black and white striped V-neck. Is that a V-neck? Yeah. V-neck t-shirt. I just grabbed this because I thought it was beautiful. Um, I don't think it's, maybe it won't sell, I don't know. But it's like this Kyoto um, robe. It does have the belt somewhere. That's not the belt. This is the belt, um, but it's just, I don't know, I just thought it was beautiful. 
with the floral and the bird. But yeah, it's just a robe. Um, this is a torrid size double zero. I guess that's vanity sizing. Um, double zero. Um, I just got a text. Hang on a second. Okay, let's see how far we can get because I'm going to be getting a phone call from work, so I'm gonna continue. Anyways, so this is toward double zero. It's like a midi length, full button down, quarter length sleeve, excuse me, floral dress. I also thought this was beautiful. Um, it's really soft. It's by MDS, I don't know. I guess that's a size 36 but it is another kimono type dress. But this one is actually a dress and then it has a tie that you tie in the back and air conditioning vent holes for sweaty armpits. Right there. Uh, this is Banana Republic Factory Slim Fit Long Sleeve Button Up um, Striped Shirt. I got, I think, four of these. Um, they say San Diego Harley Davidson, and then on the back, it has the San Diego Harley Davidson logo. So I got one, two, a three, four. And then I got this one is Harley Davidson um, motorcycles, and it's Guns N' Roses. Harley Davidson and then on the back it says San Diego Harley Davidson right there almost done um this is just an old navy size for I can't tell if it's black or blue um but it is a pencil skirt this is a page sort of southwestern button up down size extra small shirt uh this is by spence size large green sort of army green tiered dress with like crochet front just a couple more this i just got for myself it's just a tank top this i don't know if i'm gonna sell it um jack skellington Disney Parks, I believe. Walt Disney World, rather. Um, Jack Skellington, but I washed it and there's some stains in the back. So, I don't know. I don't know about these either. Um, this is by S Slinky Brand. Um, this is a size extra small, but it is a pair of pants that are like crocheted and then they have a lining in them. So I got those. Uh, this is a pair of Zara high rise size small. Um, pink and black plaid pleated uh, shorts. I thought this was adults, but it's kids. I don't know if my kid will wear it, but it's this flip sequin that like one side says USA and then the other side is that tank top she might wear it i don't know this is a cabbie size medium cheetah print ruffle front cami top uh this is banana republic factory crisscross back size 10 petite um tank top This is a dress by Andre Oliver. Um, it's got like ruffles here in the front. This sold within one hour of listing it last night. This is um, Intimately Free People. Maybe I should have listed it for more. Maybe it was just at that sweet spot. I don't know, but they swooped in and bought it within an hour for full asking price. Um, it is this um, bodysuit. I don't know that it's ever been worn, but uh, 
yeah, so that is sold and needs to be shipped out today. This is a Pendleton size six full wrap um, skirt. So it's uh, silly. I don't know where I left off, but anyways, I am almost done. Um, two things. So this is a brand new with tags. I don't know anything about it. It's vintage Havana, I guess. Um, it's this long sleeve thermal top that says vintage vibes. Um, and then last Oh no, uh, this here is structure. It's just a button, button up, button down shirt with like these bubbly things, I don't know. And then last but not least, when I saw this, I grabbed it and I said, please be that brand, please be that brand. And it was that brand. I did not get the, um, the belt, but I didn't care, I picked it up. Um, it is Barefoot Dreams, nice, long, fuzzy, cozy, size two ball of goodness, I think, I don't know. Um, anyways, so everything that I got, I think I got like 80 something items. Um, when I added, divided, subtracted, multiplied everything, um, I paid about 66 cents per piece. So not bad. Um, and like I said, I've already sold two items. And I think with those two items, I've probably made my money back. I sold this for $28. And then the shirt that I'm going to pop, that I popped up earlier, um, I sold for 24, 25. I had it listed at 32. Somebody offered me within the same day, 20. I came back with 29. Um, he came back with 25 and I accepted just because it was a quick sale. Why not get that quick sale, you know? You know. So anyways, um, that is it for my Goodwill Thrift Haul bins, San Diego. Um, I will link a, put a link down below um, that shows you how my Goodwill bins work because they are different than any of the other bins. Um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. And yeah, I'm going to go. I will talk to you guys later.